In chapter 20, we're going to move on to charges that are moving around in a circuit. So you notice that there is this loop as the charges go around and around and around, being pushed by a particular voltage source, namely a battery in most cases. And you'll see that a lot of charges flow through in a very short time. And this flowing of charges is what we define as the current. Current is defined to be how much charge flow through over how much time. Unit wise is of course coulombs per second and the special name for it is amperes. Current as a symbol we use I. So we make use of this particular definition to find out how much charge moves. So flipping this around, we have that. Knowing that my current is 12 amps times a very short time in this case for defibrillator, because you need that big jolt to restart the heart, but not so much that you fry the person. Multiplying that, you get, and this is against coulombs per second, so we'll get coulombs in the end, and that's going to be 0.12 coulombs. And you notice this is a huge amount of charge because typically last chapter when we deal with static charges you see a lot more micro coulomb or even nano coulombs. This is almost a coulomb. And then for part B they want us to find out how many electrons so that's just converting the coulombs into number of electron and the conversion factor is of course that for the elementary charge. So being very close to a coulomb of charge, you can imagine that there's lots and lots of electrons. So there you go, the definition of current and as well as the unit, just as a quick introduction.